is, is your current bedroom furniture a mixture of different furniture sets? The Bedding Center, located on Pleasant Street and proud sponsor of this radio station and high school sports, offers a wide array of mattresses along with beds, bedroom furniture, and odd-sized mattresses and box springs. You can reach them online at bedding-center.com or by phone at 508-226-8090. Good evening and welcome to this special edition of High School Sports Tonight. It's a rivalry game as the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers host the Bishop Fian Shamrocks from Crosstown. Attleboro coming in 12 and 9 overall, ranked number 23 in Division I. Bishop Fian coming in at 10 and 9 overall, but based on strength of schedule, they're ranked 18th in Division I. Both teams have already qualified for the playoffs. Zach, this should be a good one. These teams played earlier in the season, only double overtime. Yeah, we missed a, we missed a great game that time at my alma mater, Bishop Fian. We don't hold that against you, no, Zach. No, and I'll keep my biases out of tonight's game. <laughs> no, you keep can't. it fair. <laughs> uh, especially important night, it's senior night for yes. Attleboro. For Attleboro, I'm, and I sincerely apologize, I don't have the name of the three senior cheerleaders who are being honored right now, but for Attleboro, the senior players, Michael Alfonso, Jaden Outland, uh, Mr. Hodson, Nathan, Nathan Hodson. Hodson. There we go. I got you covered. Michael Beverly, yeah. Spencer Shirked, uh, Zayim Charles. You mentioned Mr. Hanrahan. Yeah. And to repeat, Michael Alfonso and Jaden Outland. So this should be a good one. Attleboro averaging 54.3 points a game, allowing 55.9. And I forgot to. Oh, I got those for you. Bishop Fian a little higher on yep. those. They're scoring 65.2 points per game this year, allowing 64.4 points so per game. So they're playing a much higher, uh, faster-paced game, I assume. Attleboro beat Bishop Fian 68-67 in double overtime earlier in the year. But wait, there's more. Attleboro was trailing by 13 points heading into the fourth quarter. It, it was an, an amazing game. Uh, Jaden Outland had the clutch free throws to send the game to overtime. And in overtime, Spencer Shirk came through yeah. with a clutch three. One of his three three-pointers on the season. Yeah, uh, proving you wrong with his range yes. game by game. And all three of them have become in big situations. Absolutely. Yeah. He's been very clutch. Uh, Hayden Crowley, sophomore Hayden Crowley, had a career-high 19 points in that game. He had 19 against someone else, too, but I can't have that because I have my new scorebook now. My old one ran out. That's Michael Alfonso, the 5'8 senior, being introduced, one of the crowd favorites here. Great practice player, tremendous attitude, and when out of whatever Mark Poole can, they get Alpha, uh, Michael into the game, and the crowd goes wild. He's going to be starting tonight, is that right? I, I think he's coming in with the second crew. There are seven seniors. Five will start tonight, and then the next two will come in. They'll start the second half, as, as I think uh, uh, Second rotation, Second rotation. Coach Wool going to make sure they all get plenty of oh, minutes yeah. tonight. There's, that's Jaden Outland. One of the senior captains, a six-foot senior. Again, 14 points, two big free throws against Fee in the last time they played. He has over 60 assists, over 40 steals, and over 20 offensive rebounds. And a big family. Best game of the year, 24 points against King Phillip. He's, he's gotten double digits, it seems like, every single game. Yes. Mr. Consistent, he's been amazing. There was a great moment uh, Monday night, senior night for the girls, Marley Mariko had her little brother escort her onto the court for senior night. She picked him up in her arms. Oh, that's and sweet. in the nine years I've been here, it was absolutely the cutest senior night moment I've ever seen. Very nice to see the players with their families here. Nathan Hodson, parents, Rachel, Josh, siblings, Jacob, and Kelsey. 5'9", senior Nathan Hodson. Comes off the bench, one of the first or second guards off the bench. A maniacal defender. And lay off and will hit the sneaky three-pointer on you once in a while. For the Bombardiers, over their last six games, a loss to Milford where the ball just wouldn't go in the hoop. Overtime victory over KP, a huge two-point win over Taunton. 
A tough loss to Franklin, had a five-point lead in the fourth quarter, then gave up a 12-point run. That's when we learned that that O'Leary kid from Franklin might be the best player in the league. Came back with a 56-45 win over North, and then were knocked off by Durfee, 58-44. Went uh, for the second time in six games. Gosh darn, the ball didn't seem to find the hoop. Justin Hanrahan was just announced, the 6-3 senior. Yeah, it was a tough loss to Durfee the other night. Good timing, though, because Justin Hanrahan, he had a big game against them. Six points, six rebounds, a big block, a couple of assists. Did a little bit of everything for Attleboro in that game. He missed some time earlier with the injury, and we've seen he's made a big impact oh, yes. since he's come back. Uh, over 30, or at least 35 offensive rebounds. I mean, might as well tell the listeners, I had my season composite stats with me. I don't know where the heck they are now. I was going up and down the stands talking to the coaches, and I lost my stats somewhere, so he's Zach and I are going to be going off memory. Here's senior captain Michael Beverly. His dad used to sit next to our broadcast position in the old gym. Oh. Uh, Team Bev, number 20, the t-shirts. Oh, that's awesome. Remember my senior year, my parents wore t-shirts that said, thank God he'll be out of the house soon. That's right. What a moment for Beverly. His best game of the year was against Taunton. I tried to short him two points in that game, but he finished with 19 yes. points. He has also been very consistent for Attleboro all year long. One of the best defenders yep. on the team. And there is Spencer Shirk, six foot senior. He was a captain on the football team. He's gonna be a captain on the lacrosse team this spring. He'll be heading to uh, is the University of New England or New England University to play football? One of the two, I bet. Yeah, outstanding. His big brother, Trainer, went to UMass and is playing uh, 18 rugby for the Minutemen. And if he plays football, anything like he plays basketball, he'll be an exceptional player. Uh -huh. One point he had, was it 14 of the team's 32 charges yeah. drawn? Yes. We think that very, very tough player. We think the number's up around 17. One more senior to go, six foot five inch, Zayim Charles. And there's Demetria, his mom. His big brother, Kualim Charles. Zayim goes to Z. You know what Kualim went by. Infamous legend at Attleboro High, Q. Q scored over a thousand points along with Brian Sissio on that team in 2019. Bishop Fian 10 and 9 on the season, but 1 and 3 in their last four games. They knocked off North Attleboro with a big second half. Dropped an 85-74 decision to Cardinal Spellman. Lost to St. Mary's 77 to 48. They lost to St. Mary's at home early in the season in a very close game at St. Mary's. St. Mary's ran wild. Yeah, they lost to St. Mary's at Bishop Fian by one, 63-62. They've had a couple of close losses at home then yeah. this year. Up in Lynn, St. Mary's won 77-48. And St. Mary's, they might win the D3 title wow. uh, this year. And then they uh, a tough loss by one point, 69-68 uh, against Walpole. They haven't played since February 16th. Wow. A lot of rest. Most of these kids on school vacation this week. Yep. A lot of tournaments going on. Now that Attleboro has this brand new big gym, I wonder if in future years it'll be the uh, Bombardiers hosting a holiday tournament. Could be. They have certainly to. have the facility to now. Beautiful gym. In the words of Meatloaf, Zach, you just took the words right out of my mouth. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. Stop that, people, please. I'm Paul Healy, along, along with Zach Crow. There we go. Austin Ricketts is on camera tonight. Peter Bray running our graphics. Jim Jones is the engineer in charge. The teams are going to take warm-ups, I think, for a little bit here, and then we'll get to the action. So we're going to take a break. Coming up, a big crosstown rivalry game, the Attleboro Blue Bobadiers against the Bishop Fian of Attleboro Shamrocks. Again, Attleboro prevailed in double overtime. 
So the Shamrocks are going to look to close out their regular season seeking revenge. We'll be right back. Ryan and Sons Family Sports is a three-generation family business that first opened their doors way back in 1949. Ryan and Sons is a local source for sports equipment and high school and professional sports apparel. They sell a variety of local town apparel, school sports hats, and more. Ryan and Sons is located at 15 North Main Street, downtown Attleboro. You're invited to stop by and check out their wide variety of embroidered and screen printed high school sports apparel. Village Auto Sales, a family-run auto dealership, has been serving the Attleboro area for over 20 years. They have a large selection of cars and trucks for sale with an inventory that changes weekly. You can visit their website, villageautoma.com, to review a selection of featured vehicles or search for vehicles by make, body style, or price. Village Auto Sales, located at 1076 Pleasant Street on the Attleboro Norton Line. Welcome back to the biggest crowd I've seen in this brand new Attleboro High School gym. It holds 1,800. Uh, we're over four figures. There's more than 1,000 people in this gym tonight, Zach. Definitely. If, if that Bishop Fian crowd is on their feet like Mansfield was yep. opening night, we might have to do some standing in yeah. order to see the corner here. Well, the students are to our left. Oh, good point, yeah. Students are to our left. The Attleboro student body wearing white uh, tonight. They're across the court. Uh, to the right side of the stands. Our officials tonight, two good players in their own right, the Walsh boys, unrelated. Our referee is going to be Mike Walsh, who played at Dom Bosco High School, which sadly no longer exists. They were a basketball and hockey power. They were the rare parochial vocational school. And uh, the, uh, the umpire tonight is Tom Walsh. He played at Malden Catholic High School and then continued his career with the Curry College Colonels. So a couple of refs tonight who know what they're looking at. And you need that in a night where it's going to be very intense in this gym. Yeah, you called it a rivalry game. That's exactly what it is Anytime Bishop Fian and Attleboro meet. And it should be a great game, these two teams. Very similar records, both ranked in the top 25. Yep. Uh, and as mentioned by our friend, writer for the Sun Chronicle, Tyler Hitu, yep. both these teams rely on team basketball. They're right. not run through any one superstar. Bishop Fian, very similar to Attleboro in that way. So it should make for an excellent matchup. Neo Franco, the leading scorer for the Bombardiers at about 13 and a half a game. Jaden Outland, Michael Beverly, and Hayden Crowley right behind him. And then you have Hull, of course, coming off the bench for Fian. Connor Sneed had 20 points against Walpole, 28 against Cardinal Spellman. Jack, Sh uh, Shabbat, Jack Shabbat had 28 points against Arlington Catholic. And I'm missing one, there it is. Uh, Dylan Capua had 23 points in that victory against Arlington Catholic. And as you pointed out to me, Zach, Bishop Fian put 99 points on the board earlier this season in a victory over Walpole. Yes, they did. <laughs> 99. Five players were in double-digit scoring for Fian that night. To go off on that, Dylan Capua, you didn't even mention, had 28 versus Bishop Fenwick. Oh, That's three different that. players for Fian right oh. there who have had 28-point games. I mentioned his 23 against yeah, Arlington uh, Catholic. Didn't know about the all Fenwick. three of those guys have had multiple 20-point games this season. Wow. They're going to be very tough to match up, though. I think Attleboro brings the defenders necessary for that. Talked about Michael Beverly as one of the best all year. Yep. Jaden Outland and Neo Franco have certainly stepped up. And the return of senior Justin Hanrahan has been a huge factor oh, yes. for them. Yeah. And uh, Coach Dean O'Connor, he's in his fifth year at Bishop V, and he was a heck of a player at Mansfield. And then I uh, went to Northwest Missouri State. I asked him if he dominated any murals. He said he played. But you played, you dominated. <laughs> yeah. Good enough. At exactly. least in my book. But he's in his fifth year at Bishop Fian. Mark Hool in his 28th year as the head coach at Attleboro. He scored 1,219 points for the Bombardiers. 349 wins in his career, 237 losses. So just under a 60% winning percentage with a state title in 1998. Resume seems to get longer and longer every time you say it yeah. from Coach Mark Hool. <laughs> 
And Attleboro is third in the Kelly Rex division of the Hockamock League behind Taunton and Franklin. Franklin 17 and 1 in the year. HockamockSports.com has the Bombardiers ranked as the fifth best team in the Hawk, which is no insult behind great teams like Franklin, Mansfield, Sharon, and Taunton. Rightfully so for Attleboro being number five there. Gave Franklin a real run for their money yep. here in, at their home court. And they beat Taunton earlier this year, the number four ranked team. Yep. Bishop Fian with a 5-5 five and five lead record in the Catholic Central League. Uh, Archbishop Williams is in first. They're 18-0 and 0 on the season. St. Mary's 15-7 and 7 on the season. They might meet in the D3 playoffs. Cardinal Spellman, 7-4 in the league, 15-4 overall and then Bishop Fian 10 and 9 overall 5 and 5 in the league leagues rounded out by Cathedral Bishop Stang Arlington Catholic and Bishop Fenwick when did you graduate from Fian Zach 2018 my graduating class. Did it take you four years or more? Just four. Okay. Good question, though. <laughs> Recognized a few faces in the crowd. Uh, Tom Sheeran, now part of the athletic staff for Bishop Fian. I graduated with his son, Dante, good friend of mine. Shout out to the Sheerans. Here comes the starting lineup, number 33, Rogers Adams. He missed their last game with uh, illness, pneumonia. Nice to have him back. Number two, the 6'3 senior, Cooper Sneed. At guard, senior captain, number three, Dylan Capua. Dylan Capua, senior captain. Are they going Capua? Okay. 5'8 senior. Number four, Jonathan Mignaca. Jonathan Mignaca, I got that one right. 6'2 senior backcourt player. And Jack Shabbat, third senior captain, 6'1 senior. As Zach told you, 28 points against Arlene Catholic. senior number 11, Nathan Hudson. Nathan Hudson draws the star on senior night. Justin Hanrahan retains his spot in the starting lineup on senior night, 6'3", senior. At guard, senior, number 22, Spencer Scherk. Spencer Scherk, normally the first forward off the bench. He gets the start tonight. I'm excited for Spencer Scherk tonight. He's yep. going to have a big night. I feel At it. At guard, senior captain, number 20, Michael Beverly. Michael Beverly, senior captain, maintains his start, spot in the starting At lineup. Guard, senior captain. Jaden Outland, the final starter. That means uh, Alfonso and Zaim. Zaim will come in with the second uh, group. We'll be right back after this on Double ACS 15 Sports. Claudino's Auto Repair, located at 310 South Main Street in Attleboro, is celebrating 26 years in the auto and truck repair business. Over the years, John Claudino and his team of mechanics have worked to build a long-lasting rapport with their customers. From oil changes to diagnostics, transmissions, and routine maintenance on foreign and domestic cars and trucks, Claudino's will keep your vehicle running. Claudino's Auto Repair, 508-226-8545 or at claudinosautorepair.com.
miss the name. That was the mom of one of the senior cheerleaders. I didn't catch the name either. What a set of pipes. Oh my goodness, that's the loudest I've heard this beautiful new gymnasium get. Incredible. Hello and welcome to AACS 15 Sports. I'm Paul Healy along with Zach Crow, Austin Ricketts on camera. Peter Bray, who I can't see, running our graphics. The Fian student section is blocking me. Jim Jones, the engineer in charge. Cooper Sneed, Dylan Capua, Jim Manaka, Jack Shavin, and Roger Adams starting for Bishop Fian. A taller lineup than Attleboro's used to facing. Attleboro's been very effective on the offensive boards this year. That'll be a challenge tonight. Yeah, wow, Hanrahan usually does not get matched up this well yeah. on the tip-offs. Rogers, Adams, listed as 6'5", might be pushing 6'6". Six, six. For Attleboro on senior night, it's Outland, Hodson, Hanrahan, Beverly, and Shirk, Charles, and Alfonso. What happened? Oh, <laughs> John Minaka happened. You know, he had a big dunk in the game against North Attleboro. That happened in the fourth quarter. He just had one to lead off the game tonight. And so getting an assist off the opening tap was Rogers Adams. I, there was a middleman. Oh, he had the was. hockey assist. All righty. I didn't get the middleman, though. Beverly drives, puts it up, misses because of tough defense by Adams. Fian nearly turns it over, but it's recovered by Sneed. And fouled in the backcourt was Capua. He was fouled by Hudson, I believe. Yep, Nathan's first, team first. Didn't even get a chance to mention about Minaka in pregame that, yes, he can dunk. What a fast start. Hudson up top to the left side. There's Adams, the 6'5 senior. Gets it back to Capua. Left corner is Minaka. Whoops, that pass goes awry. Here comes Shirk. Shirk with the steal. First turnover for Fian. Here comes Hanrahan all the way to the hoop. Ooh, is that blocked? By Adams? I think Hanrahan might have gotten blocked by the by the backboard Bottom there. Of the Three ball is no good by Sneed. Where am I going to keep track of turnovers in the book here? There we go. Folks still filing in in front of us. Yeah. As we mentioned pregame, huge crowd tonight. Attleboro inbound. Bombardiers wearing their home white uniforms heading right to left. Fian in their Kelly Green uniforms. Gold letters and numerals. White trim. Good and look. So right away, Zayim Charles in for number 12, Justin Hanrahan. Outlet misses the runner. Defensive rebound number 10, Jack Shabbat. Whoops, second turnover for Fian. Steal by Outlet. He's got Charles with him. But a blocking foul call on Manaka. Good heads up thought there from Outland to get that around the back pass working. Hope Justin Hanrahan's okay. Yeah. Landed a little awkwardly on that layup he missed. Hudson will inbound. Hudson, Shirk, Outland, Charles, and Beverly up top to Outland on the left wing. Shirk up top. 30 seconds on the shot clock, which is now 35 seconds this season. Outland in move. the paint. Left elbow. Jumper is good. We're tied at two. Way to get it going, Jaden Outland. Been money all year from that spot. Driving from the right is Capua. Gets it back out to Shabbat. From the corner is Capua. He hits Shabbat with the assist. Long ball, 5 3 Fian. Pick and roll worked well there, Fian. Wide open three out of the corner. Capua gets on the board. And you're right. We're going to have trouble seeing the left corner. There's the Bombardiers' first turnover. Steal caused by Shabbat. All the way, the running layup just falls off the rim by Capua. And now Charles might be oh, hurt. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, he landed off. Good to see him get up. Before that, Michael Beverly, great defense. There was a three-on-one for Bishop Fian, And Beverly held his ground. And now Michael Alfonso is coming in along with sophomore Hayden Crowley and junior captain Neo Franco. That foul was on Manaka, his first, team second. I missed a foul for Fian somewhere. Connor Hool is in, the 5'7 freshman. He had seven points in the loss to Durfee. There's Neo Franco, had eight. Franco drives, stops, jumper. Ooh, he's fouled. That's going to be the second foul on Manaka, team third. 
And I think you might be missing Nate Hodson's foul early in the game. Number 11, that was the first for Attleboro. Yeah, I'm missing a foul on Fiat. Oh, on Fiat. At the line is junior lefty Neo Franco. Rattles home the first. 5-3 Fiat leads. They list Franco as 6-1. I think he's 6-2 by now. Does everything for this team. At one point was leading the team in steals, assists, offensive rebounds, and of course points. Takes them both. Neo's got two. Bombardiers are within one early here. 5-11 to go, first quarter. Who's that? Rolling with the ball. And number 25 is in Philip Patello, a 6'3 sophomore. Back to Capua. He'll take the long ball over Crowley. No good. Right ball was tipped out of bounds yep. by Alfonso. Sideline ref came in to help make that call. Had the better view of it. it was the right call. Yep, that was the umpire, Tom Walsh. Again, played at Malden Catholic in Curry College. Right off the inbound, long ball is good! It's number five, Brett McCaffrey. McCaffrey with a three-pointer, it's 8-4, Fiat. Poole up top. Ooh, a moving pick is called. I think that's gonna be on Zayim Charles. Yeah, left the screen a little too early. Just good to see him up and healthy after taking that scary fall. Yes. That's his first team second. That's our field mic here. The audience is picking up your conversation. <laughs> Left side driving, kicking it out. Spinning up top is number 25, Batello. Good defense by Franco. I think he blocked that yes, shot. Yes, Franco with the block. Alfonso tries to get it to Charles. Knocked out of bounds by Batello. Attleboro maintains possession. 8-4, Fian, 4.18 to go, and it's good to see Hanrahan coming back in for Charles, and Outland is gonna come in. <laughs> maybe he won't, maybe he will. Yes, he will. Coming up for senior, Michael Alfonso. Student body section doesn't like to see that. Inbounding is the 5-7 hole. Gets it to Outland, right baseline, drives. Soft floater is good, he's got four. Bombardiers within two. Attleboro's been so effective with Poole inbounding the ball. Give him another assist there. Up top at point guard, James Fazy, the soccer player, the 5'10 senior. And a travel, that's the third turnover on the Shamrocks to one for the Bombardiers. Number 10, Jack Shabbat, checking back in for Bishop Fian. Dean O'Connor switching people up liberally here. Shabbat had 28 versus Arlington Catholic, one of three players with that, to reach that many points in a game for Fian. Hool drives. They had all four men up at the foul line. Hool driving left, lays it in, tied at eight. We saw that formation late in the Franklin game. We've seen it a couple of times now. Yep. Down low to Sneed. Sneed working on Crowley. Blocked from behind by Hanrahan. Big time play. Justin Hanrahan back in the game gets his first block. He had one against Durfee in the last game. 22 on the shot clock. Fian inbounding under the offensive hoop. Oh, nice cut to the rim. The rim ball falls away. Rob is number five. McCaffrey. Great pass. Outland lays it in. Who made that great and Connor pass? Connor Houle. Houle with the assist. Outland Eyes in the back of his head. Outland with six points. Bombardiers lead by two, 10-8. Again, last time these two teams played, it went into double OT. Hanrahan with a steal, fourth Shamrock turnover. Crowley and Houle forced that turnover with a double team. Hanrahan got the steal. Jaden Outland drives right down the lane, lays it in with the right hand. That was a physical drive. Ooh, the senior captain got eight points already here on senior night. Driving, dishing. And the steal. Fifth. Turnover for the Shamrocks, second steal for Outland. Eight points, two steals. Connor Hool hesitates, drives, has the ball knocked away by James Fazy, maintains possession. James Fazy, a 5'10 senior, plays soccer. His brother Dan, a 6'2 junior, starter on the football team. Which made it to the semifinals of the D3 playoffs, lost a heartbreaker to KP. 
Outland drives, foul line jumper. Outland's got 10 points. Too smooth, Jaden Outland. Bombardiers by six. Capua, right side, that's Sneed. Sneed drives against Hammerhand, lays it in despite the defense of Franco. Nice hoop. 14-10, Bombardiers, we approach two minutes to go, first quarter. Sneed's on the board, that's his first bucket. Fool being guarded by Tapio up top, 5-7 against 5-8. Looking for Hammerhan down low, has it knocked away, maintains possession with 19 in the shot clock. Or Attleboro maintains possession. Fian brought a big crowd and they are all on their feet right now. So we can't see the left corner That's of the court right. to our left. Jaden Outland makes his way down there, so we'll know who <laughs> hits that shot if it works its way down there. Poole dribbling up top, 10 on the shot clock. He'll take the long two-pointer. He'll hit the long two-pointer. 16-10, Bombardiers. Shot that over the 6-5, Rogers Adams. Just enough space. Connor Hull does not need much. Capua flips it. Ball is moving nicely for Fee and Capua. Out yep. Outland almost just had his third steal. Good Left defense. Side. McCaffrey takes the long three. No good. Here comes Franco right to left. Cross court to... Ooh, Crowley might have traveled. Driving is Outland. Oh, a tough wow. left-hand runner over Cooper Sneed. He's got 12. With the left. Doing it from all spots on the court, Jaden Outland. 18-10, Bombardiers, one minute to go in the quarter. Adams drives, baseline, reverse oh, layup, wow. puts it in, pretty hoop. Wow, he's 6'5". For someone that big to move like that, wow. Bombardiers by six with the ball, 45 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Right side, Neo Franco. Man-to-man -man defense, both squads so far. Franco fakes right, drives left, cradles it like a oh, halfback, oh. lays it in with a left. He's got four, Bombardiers by eight. I wish I had the exact number. Attleboro's made at least their last five shots in a row. They are cruising on offense. Stop popping from the right. Jumper rattles home for Connor Steed with a shooter's touch. Being within six. 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Now we're down to 10. Connor Hull letting time go by, guarded by Capua. Right side, Outland, three seconds to go. Takes the long three. Rattles out. Nice defense by number 10 for B and Jack Shabbat. After eight fast minutes of play, the Bombardiers 20, the Shamrocks 14. Wow. Jaden Outland, 12 points in the first quarter. On six for eight shooting. The team shot nine for 11 Bobby in that Deers? quarter. Awesome. No, excuse me, nine for 13 in that quarter. Wow. Excellent shooting. And we'll be right back after this on AACS 15 Sports. Falls AC, Eight Stack Road in North Attleboro, supports high school sports in our community at every level. Open in the early 80s, owner Angelo Cavallari is proud of their 40 years of service to the Attleboros. Falls AC is open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. They have lunch and dinner daily, banquet rooms for your meetings or get-togethers, and dart leagues. The entire staff at Falls AC wishes the high school athletes the best of luck in every game. Falls AC. 8 Stack Road, North Attleboro, 508-695-2688. Welcome back to AACS 15 Sports, the AACS YouTube channel, 1320 WARA Radio and WARARadio.com. Do we have shooting stats for Fian? Uh, we do. F Bishop Fian went 6 for 11 in the quarter. They knocked out two threes. Attleboro didn't need any freeze. They went nine for 13. 10 points for Outland, four for Hull, four for Franco. 12 for Outland. Oh, that's right. That's six X's. Attleboro with the ball first to the hoop on our left. Outland long ball off the back rim. Defensive rebound, Shabbat. Here comes Capua. I think it's Capua, but they announced it Capua. We'll go with that. Or we could call him Dylan. Dylan drives, good ball rotation. It's in the left side now, back into Dylan Capua's hands. Brian Welsh, the 6'4 sophomore on the court now for Fian. Capua, long ball is good for Fian. 
Capu Dillon's second three of the game, up to six points now. I think that assist went to number 22, Welsh. Down low is Hanrahan, aggressively to the hoop. No good because of the defense of the sophomore Welsh, who tracks down the rebound. Gets it to Patello. Capuit keeps it in, throws it up in the air. Ball is bounced around, finally matriculates to Shabbat. And there's the sixth turnover of the half for Fee and Attleboro just won. They've got the ball back with a three-point lead. Might have been quicker for you to list the players whose hands it didn't touch there. Really? Felt like every player's just got a hand, foot, or head on that ball. <laughs> Franco brings the ball up along with Outland, Beverly, Hanrahan, and Hudson in the left corner. Outland, 12 points in the first quarter. Drive stopped by Shabbat. Drives again to the left. Too far under the hoop, but draws the foul. He's been really good at that all year, unafraid to go up through the trees, draw fouls where he's been one of the best shooters on the team at the free throw line. That foul goes against Jack Shabbat, his first team fourth. Outland hits the first. Bombardier's three for three from the line so far. Hanrahan will get a rest. Number 10, Dante Monestein checking in for the first time this game. Honest time had seven points in the loss to Durfee. An outstanding sophomore. Outland hits them both. Attleboro four for four thus far from the free throw line. Good sign. 22-17, Bombardier, six and a half minutes to go, first quarter. Up top, Patello drives, kicks it out to Manaka. Guarded by Hool. Capua. Oh, quickness into the paint. Beautiful drop pass. Shot was blocked by Neo Franco, but Patello got it back. What a recovery from Franco. Steve. Might have had two blocks on that possession. Certainly had two missed shots by yep. Fee in there, and Franco was a good recovery to get that first block off the bounce pass. Team rebound. Fee in inbounds play. Capua misses a shot, trails down his own offensive rebound, flicks it out to number 25, Patello, and they'll restart. Left corner, catching, shooting, Patello is long. And this foul is going to go against number 22, Fian Brian Welsh, the sophomore, over the top. His first team fifth. Sophomore Hayden Crowley going to check in. Crowley had a career-high 19 points. And Spencer Shirk, senior, has checked in as well. Against Fian, the first time these teams played. Huge three-pointer late. Out in the double team, the double team drops away, so Jaden drives, kicks it out to the corner. Franco is inside. Franco drives. Outland, Shirk up top. Left wing, Franco catches, shoots off the back rim. Defensive rebound, sky for was Dylan Capua, or Capua. We'll figure it out at some point. He's guarded by Beverly. Quick pass, catch and shoot, Manaka, no good. Shirk fights for the rebound, but reeled in by Patello. Shot from the corner, three wall is no good. Neo Franco tips it to Crowley. From the corner is Beverly, three-pointer, no oh. good. Hayden Crowley, offensive rebound, put back. Hayden Crowley, a three-point shooter who can do it all. What a putback. 6-1 sophomore. He and Connor Hull are cousins, grew up across the street from each other. Bombardiers by seven, driving into the paint. Short jumper won't go for Manaka. Fight for the rebound, Franco comes away with it. Up ahead, Beverly makes the catch, double teamed. Wow. Puts it up and in, Michael Beverly. Bombardiers by nine, assist Franco. And what a pass by Neo. Length of the full court. Right corner, catch and shoot. Three ball is long by Welsh. Offensive rebound, put back home by Jack Shavin. Fian needed that, 26-19. Oh, Michael Beverly again. Only 5'11", but strong as an ox. Give Outland the assist that time. 
full court passes. Transition game working for Attleboro. 28-19, Bombardiers inside four to go in the first half. Capua drives, runner won't fall. Franco coming the other way, this time Fian is back. How Crowley fakes the three, drives, kicks it out to Outland behind oh, his back. Move. What good defense by Fian. He's at the left block, throws it up top to Franco. 20 seconds on the shot clock. 17 now. Franco up top, being guarded by Manaka. Drives on Manaka, runner blocked by Manaka. Attleboro maintains possession, 10 seconds on the shot clock. That was outstanding defense. It was. Neil Franco done a good job getting to the rim tonight, not there. Outland and Shirk get a rest. Hanrahan comes in, along with Connor Houle, who will inbound. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Has to loft it up to Neil Franco up top. Guarded by Adams. Neil will drive on Adams, left side. Nice block shot by Adams, his second. Naka had the last block. That time it was Adams. Yep. Great defense by Bishop Fian. Right side is Sneed, guarded by Beverly. Oh, Beverly the steals team. it. Beverly running up court. Runner is no good because of Adams' hustle. Hanrahan, offensive rebound, tips it to Franco and puts it in. That's an offensive rebound and an assist oh. for Hanrahan. Wow. What an athletic play by the big man. 30 to 19, Bombardiers. Coach Hull called play number five. They never got to run it because of the fast break. Yeah, Michael Beverly getting involved there with the steal. Beverly with four points all this quarter. Bombardiers by 11, 249 to go in the first half. We'll be right back. Crystal Glass, 110 North Main Street in Attleboro, has supported local high school sports for many years. Bristol Glass has been chosen for glass replacement projects for home and business for over 60 years. From shower doors to auto glass and mirror replacement, Bristol Glass is ready to do the job. They accept most insurance plans and serve several communities around the Attleboro area. They're open weekdays from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. You can contact them at 508-222-5810 and on the web at bristolglass.com. Welcome back. If you're enjoying the broadcast on the AACS YouTube channel, we'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. If you're really enjoying it, subscribe to the AACS YouTube channel. Here comes Fian left to right, down 11 with the ball. That's a blocking foul called on Connor Hull. Carter's first. That's the team's third foul, only their third at the half. Fian has yet to shoot a foul shot. Zach checking his stats to make sure if I'm right. I believe you. I don't blame you. <laughs> good stuff by both teams thus far. Pass to the left corner. Three ball is good. That's number two, Connor Steed. Is that the fourth three of the game for Fian? It is. Assist by Dylan. Sneed's first three. He's up to seven points now in the game. His first bucket of the second quarter. 30 22. 23 in the shot clock. 2.16 in the game clock. Poole up top, guarded by the 6 5 Adams. Gets it to Franco. Drives, double team. Nice defense to Bombardier's second turnover. Give the steal to Sneed. Goes the length of the court, lays it in with a right hand. Looked like a running back. Five straight points for Sneed, and suddenly it's a six-point game. Wow. With 2.02 to go, Attleboro takes the timeout. That started with the excellent defense once again on the driving Neo Franco. We've seen Minaka have a block against him. We've seen Rogers Adams get a block. This time, Cooper Sneed with the big defense took it all the way for the bucket. Each team with a timeout taken. That means they both have four left. We'll be right back. Balls AC, 8-Stack Road in North Attleboro, supports high school sports in our community at every level. Opened in the early 80s, owner Angelo Cavallari is proud of their 40 years of service to the Attleboros. Falls AC is open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. They have lunch and dinner daily, banquet rooms for your meetings or get-togethers, and dart leagues. The entire staff at Falls AC wishes the high school athletes the best of luck in every game. Falls AC. C, 8 Stack Road, North Attleboro, 508-695-2688. Okay. 
Great atmosphere in the gym here at the brand new Attleboro High School. Attleboro will inbound under their own hoop, 94 feet away from the Fian hoop. Only two courts in the Hockamock League are the full 94 feet, the Bombardiers and the Mansfield Hornets. Two teams that play very good basketball this yeah. season. Outland double teamed up top. Trapping defense now for Fian. From the left side all the way to the right to Crowley. Falls out of bounds but gets it to Franco first. Up top to Outland. Fian ramping up the defensive pressure. There's the double on Outland. Crowley all the way to the left to Beverly. Hanrahan will try to drive but he stumbles. Third Bombardier turnover. Steal by Dylan Capua all the way down the court. Misses the runner. Outland punched that ahead. Hanrahan! Slam dunk by Hanrahan! He saw Minaka do it earlier. Anything you can do, I can do better. And that was Outland who... Outland assist, wow. Hanrahan, slam! Drive, rolls out for Fee, an offensive rebound, put back by Adams, oh. fouled and a chance for a three-point play. That's a big man's play, Rogers, Adams. That makes the score 32-26. Shamrocks can come within five with an Adams free throw. I love that. Jaden Outland just gave a word to everybody. Yep. Probably told them to calm down. They're still in control of these yep. things. We got a great game going on. Bombardiers with some sneaky fast breaks tonight. 6'5 senior at the line. Short on the foul shot, defensive rebound, Hanrahan. First foul shot of the night for Fee. And one minute to go in the half. Attleboro by six with the ball. And it looks like Attleboro is going to close out this half with their normal starting five. Hammerhand, Outland, Franco, Beverly, and Crowley. Crowley, three ball from the left wing is short. Defensive rebound, Sneed. Sneed still dribbling back and forth. Beverly, Takes good defense. Short jumper, offensive rebound, Adams. And then the seventh turnover. Oh, get there, Michael. Steal by Franco ahead to Beverly. Yes. Beverly puts it home. What an athletic play. Beverly had to do a complete 180 off the Fian offensive rebound. But a steal by Outland and then the assist on a great pass ahead. Well called, Zach. Six point lead for the Bombardiers. Oh, eight point lead for the Bombardiers. Ten seconds to go. Fian looking for the last shot. Fian with eight turnovers in the half. Capua, short jumper, Ooh. love the mid-range game. Puts it in over Hanrahan. Fian within six. Long hoist wow. by Franco comes close. So for Attleboro, 34 points in the half. 14 in the second quarter for Bishop Fian. 28 points in the half, 14 in the second quarter. Even quarter. Zach. Oh my God, I don't have these stats ready. Oh no, I don't What a fast paced second quarter that was. I was just looking for thoughts, stories, anecdotes. Um, I'm glad Fian kept held on to the six point lead they established here. Big game thus far for Outland, 14 points. Beverly came alive with six points that quarter. And for Fian, Cooper Sneed up to nine points in the game. All right. Capua has six. Sorry about that, I cut you off. Um, We'll give you the uh, totals after we take a break. Give our sponsors some love. I'm Paul Healy, along with Zach Crow, Austin Ricketts on camera, Peter Bray running our graphics, Jim Jones, the engineer in charge. Don't go away, we got a good one going. Claudino's Auto Repair, located at 310 South Main Street in Attleboro, is celebrating 26 years in the auto and truck repair business. Over the years, John Claudino and his team of mechanics have worked to build a long-lasting rapport with their customers. From oil changes to diagnostics, transmissions, and routine maintenance on foreign and domestic cars and trucks, Claudino's will keep your vehicle running. Claudino's Auto Repair, 508-226-8545 or at claudinosautorepair.com. Does your back hurt after a long night's sleep? Ow. Has your mattress seen better days? Is your current bedroom furniture a mixture of different furniture sets? The Bedding Center, located on Pleasant Street and proud sponsor of this radio station and high school sports, offers a wide array of mattresses along with beds, bedroom furniture, and odd-sized mattresses and box springs. You can reach them online at bedding-center.com or by phone at 508-226-8090.
Are you looking for meal options for you and your family? Consider Rico Subs and Pizza on Route 1 in North Attleboro, open since 1971 and a proud sponsor of high school sports in the Attleboro area. Rico's cooks up many flavors of pizzas, subs, and calzones, all in-store and using fresh ingredients. They're open Monday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. and Sundays 12 noon to 10 p.m. You can also order ahead by calling 508-695-1296. Are you looking for meal options? Crystal Glass, 110 North Main Street in Attleboro, has supported local high school sports for many years. Bristol Glass has been chosen for glass replacement projects for home and business for over 60 years. From shower doors to auto glass and mirror replacement, Bristol Glass is ready to do the job. They accept most insurance plans and serve several communities around the Attleboro area. They're open weekdays from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. You can contact them at 508-222-5810 and on the web at bristolglass.com. Nearly 150 years ago, William H. Riley and his son Elmer started providing coal, straw, and other heating supplies to the people of North Attleboro. W.H. Riley & Son is still owned by the same family, but now delivers oil and propane and services your heating and cooling systems. Today, like then, you can rely on W.H. Riley & Son for all your heating and cooling needs. Welcome back to Attleboro High School. Huge rivalry game. Bombardiers lead 34 to 28 after 16 minutes of play. Bombardier shot 9 for 13, according to Zach, in the first quarter. How are they doing the second? I got them at 6 for 14. A lot more misses, a bit, yep. bit more turnovers there for both teams in that second quarter. So that would be uh, 9 and 6, 17 for 27. I'd take it with a grain of salt, but yes. Peter Bray also runs our graphics, so when he puts his numbers up on the board. They won't match. Yeah, trust. He'll, trust what Peter has. And 6 for 11 from the field for Fian in the first quarter. What you have for the second? And it was 5 for 15 in the second. Did knock down a couple more threes, though, so yep. they're hanging in here. So they're 11 for 26. So... Bombardiers with one more shot. Uh, eight turnovers for Fian in the half, just three for the Bombardiers, and one of those was an offensive foul. A uh, few fouls called on each team, just five on Fian, just three on Attleboro. And real quick, I can run you through the scoring leaders on both teams. Yep. Outland has 14. Behind him, Franco and Beverly have six. Connor Hull has four. Hayden Crowley and Justin Hanrahan each have two. Hanrahan's two. An emphatic dunk yes. for Bishop Fian. Well, hold on before we do that. All right. Poole with an assist. Outland with two steals and two helpers. Crowley with an offensive rebound and a great putback for his hoop. Hanrahan has a block, a steal, an offensive rebound, and a helper. Neo Franco is always all over the score sheet. Two blocks, two assists, and a steal, and a steal for Shirk. Excellent stuff for Attleboro. Uh, yeah, we'll promote it. Yeah, we are on YouTube. You can find us if you look up Double ACS, letting know a Bishop Fian fan. Or you can find us on the radio, WARARadio.com, 1320 AM radio. My partner will write that down for you so you guys yeah. can tune in. Oh, it's Cooper. Thank it's Cooper you. Sneed. How does Dylan pronounce his last name? Kapowa. 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 All right. Well, Dylan and Cooper are having good nights. Mignaka. Yep. Thank you. That's it. What do you got? To Cooper Sneed's leading the way for Fian. He's got nine points. Dylan yep. Kapua has eight. John Mignaka has two. Jack Shabbat with two. Rogers Adams with four. And Brett McCaffrey with three. Uh, two assists and a steal for Kapua. A block for Mignaka. A block for Shabbat. An assist for Welsh. Two blocks for Rogers Adams. Exciting back and forth half. Bombardiers with at least three or four fast break hoops without length of the court passes. If uh, football coach Jim Winters is looking for a quarterback for next year, he might see some candidates mm -hmm. here in the basketball Absolutely. court. Absolutely. Easy to forget, this game started with a dunk for Bishop Fian, John yeah. McNaka. Yeah. 
and it has not slowed down since then. Justin Hanrahan got to respond with one of his own. First two dunks I've gotten to see in this gymnasium. Yeah, yeah. Excellent stuff. By the way, in an unrelated note, I want to apologize to Matt Harvey. He's the returning quarterback for the football team. Okay. <laughs> He's got the job. All right, we have about three minutes to go to the end of halftime, probably four minutes till we tip off the second half. Attleboro leads 34-28. We'll be right back. Village Auto Sales, a family-run auto dealership, has been serving the Attleboro area for over 20 years. They have a large selection of cars and trucks for sale with an inventory that changes weekly. You can visit their website, villageautoma.com, to review a selection of featured vehicles or search for vehicles by mate, body style, or price. Village Auto Sales, located at 1076 Pleasant Street. for sports equipment and high school and professional sports apparel. They sell a variety of local town apparel, school sports hats, and more. Ryan and Sons is located at 15 North Main Street, downtown Attleboro. You're invited to stop by and check out their wide variety of embroidered and screen printed high school sports apparel. Claudino's Auto Repair, located at 310 South Main Street in Attleboro, is celebrating 26 years in the auto and truck repair business. Over the years, John Claudino and his team of mechanics have worked to build a long-lasting rapport with their customers. From oil changes to diagnostics, transmissions, and routine maintenance on foreign and domestic cars and trucks, Claudino's will keep your vehicle running. Claudino's Auto Repair, 508-226-8545 or at claudinosautorepair.com. Does your back hurt after a long night's sleep? Ow. Has your mattress seen better days? Is your current bedroom furniture a mixture of different furniture sets? The Bedding Center, located on Pleasant Street and proud sponsor of this radio station and high school sports, offers a wide array of mattresses along with beds, bedroom furniture, and odd-sized mattresses and box springs. You can reach them online at bedding-center.com or by phone at 508-226-8090. This broadcast is made... Are you looking for meal options for you and your family? Consider Rico Subs and Pizza on Route 1 in North Attleboro. Open since 1971 and a proud sponsor of high school sports in the Attleboro area. Rico's cooks up many flavors of pizzas, subs, and calzones, all in store and using fresh ingredients. They're open Monday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. and Sundays 12 noon to 10 p.m. You can also order ahead by calling 508-695-1296. Did it again, Zach. Came back just in time for the buzz. We're getting good at this. <laughs> just in the nick of time. Welcome back. 16 minutes of regulation basketball to go. Attleboro leads the Bishop V and Shamrocks 34-28. Shamrocks are coached by Dean O'Connor in his fifth year, assisted by Chris Sharon. An 0-1 grad is the JV coach. John King is the freshman coach. Mark Hool in his 28th year as head coach of the Bombardiers with assistants Tom Hool, Wes uh, Pondolfino, Ponfoli Ed Gagnon, Dave Oliver, and Paul Laguerre. Fian will have the ball first, heading right to left in the second half. How did they say Dylan pronounces his last name? Oh, we got a lot of names thrown at us yeah. quite fast there. Yeah. And fan came up to say hello and ask where they could listen in. Capua fakes the three, dishes it to Jack Shabbat, who catches and shoots and scores. And Fian's within three, a long ball. Well, Fian's fifth three of the game. Wow. Shabbat's first, he's up to five points. And Attleboro is three less. Three less. They don't have a three pointer. Wow. I knew Outland didn't. I forgot the whole team didn't. Yeah. Beverly up top, there's Neo Franco guarded by the 6'5 Adams in the paint, kicks it out to Crowley. Left side, Beverly, 12 in the shot clock, up top to Hanrahan. Franco trying to drive from the right, doubled, slips to his left, underhand shot, no good because of the defensive Adams. A lot of contact there, but the refs have been uh, timid to blow the whistles tonight. And consistent. Definitely. 
Capua drives, beautiful bounce pass and score for Cooper. Steve Fian is within one at 34-33. Good start for Bishop Fian. Both their buckets coming off nice assists. And the 5'8 point guard with both of them. Outland drives right baseline, stopped defensively by Shabbat. He's trapped, gets to Beverly on the left baseline. 17 footer, switch for Michael Beverly. Bombardiers by three. I love that from this team. No fear to take the mid-range jumper if it's a good look. Right. And that was certainly a good look for Beverly. Right side, Shabbat gets it down low to Adams. Adams on Hanrahan. Back to Shabbat, drives, puts up the runner, wow. bangs it home. I was almost going to say good defense, but what a look. Adams with the assist. Five points this half for Shabbat. Seven in the game. Again, Fiam within one. And the difference, those five three-pointers. And they, these two kids are out of there. Oh, sorry. Sorry, don't. Crowley on the right side. Has the ball tipped away by Adams, but retrieves it with 11 on the shot clock. Outland. <laughs> Adams, we've seen him with the layups. Big man playing perimeter defense that of, time. A lot of deflections tonight. Three on the shot clock. Outland drives left, forces oh. it up, rolls out, tracks down his own rebound. Crowley fakes the three. Outland will take the three. Yes. Outland will hit the three. Bombardiers up 39-35. Three lists no longer on the Bombardiers. <laughs> Jaden Outland, the hot hand, up to 17 points. It's not you, folks. It's us. Three lists is not a word. <laughs> <laughs> Down low, beautiful, fundamental, low post basketball by Rogers Adams for the two-pointer. Fian within two. Driving his outlet. Has the shot blocked by Adams. Adam Beverly picks it up, but loses control out of bounds. First turnover of the half for the Bombardiers. And the Bishop Fian been relentless this half. They're four for four on offense. Wow. Cut the lead to just two points here. The tie or take the lead now. Chapman in the right corner tries to drive on Hanrahan. Reverse layup won't fall. Oh. Offensive rebound, Chapman kicks it out to Capua. Three pointer off the back rim. Outland hauls in the defensive rebound. Way to go, Jaden. Went through three different Fian players to get that rebound. Outland. Important for Adelboro. Down the court quickly. Beverly in the paint, out to Franco. Franco drives, has it tips away, but retrieves it. Has it tipped away, but retrieves it again. Outland for the right corner, down low on the right block to Hanrahan. Turns to his left, reverse layup won't go. Offensive rebound, puts it home. Bombardiers lead 41-37. He put his head down that time and said he was getting that bucket no matter what. Yep. Great job by Hanrahan. Capua guarded by Beverly. Boy, we're at four minutes to go in the third quarter. You said, Zach, not many whistles. Capua drives, kicks it out to Sneed. Long ball for the left, too long. Beverly defensive rebound. Beverly on the left. Down low is Crowley. Whoops. Pass through his hands. Second turnover of the half for the Bombardiers. Fifth overall. And again, the Shamrocks, eight turnovers in the first half, zero turnovers in the first four plus minutes of the second half. Now sometimes you're too wide open. That time Hayden Crowley had a couple of hops before the ball found his way there. Wanted to do the catch and shoot in one motion. Right. Bombardier is coming out to prep, well, a soft press formation. Crossing the timeline, number five, Ben McCaffrey, also a football player. Down low, Adams, right corner, guarded by Hanrahan. Hanrahan oh, tips it away. Steal for Hanrahan. Franco has it knocked out of his hands as he goes to the hoop. Attleboro keeps the ball because I don't think they saw it go off Neo's thigh. Lucky break for Attleboro. Yeah. Number five, Brett McCaffrey was breathing down his neck, and Kapua got a hand in there for the steal. Poole inbounds to Hudson. Poole, Hudson, Hanrahan, Crowley, and Franco out there. 20 on the shot clock, 312 in the game clock, third quarter. Crowley aggressively guarded by Sneed. Franco aggressively guarded by McCaffrey. Tries, oh. ooh, aggressively fouled by McCaffrey. Brett McCaffrey had no choice there. Neo Franco got him looking the wrong way. Wow. It was a tough foul on Neo. Grabbed Neo's right arm and pulled him to the floor. 
First foul of uh, Brett McCaffrey, the 5'11 junior. Team, that's the first foul called in the second half, and we've played five minutes. Again, the referee is Mike Walsh from Don Bosco High. The umpire is Tom Walsh, no relation, from Malden Catholic High and Curry College. Did Franco hit the first? He did. For Bishop Fia, number 30, Dante Bruschi has checked in. And Neil Franco, hits Go ahead. He hits them both. Team is six for six from the free throw line tonight. Franco's four for four. He's up to eight points. Wow. And Fian with just one foul shot. So Attleboro with the edge at the foul line. Fian with the edge beyond the arc. Yapua crosses the timeline with Houle guarding him. Right corner is Shabbat. Drives into the paint. I'm not sure if he, Oh, shot is blocked by Neo Franco. That's Neo's third block of the night. Driving is Crowley. Lays it in and the foul on McCaffrey, allegedly. Oh, and give Connor Houle another assist there. Yep. He has been so good tonight on all season long in the transition. Franco started off with the block. Attleboro up 45-37. Crowley, the sophomore, will go to the foul line. Rolls out. So a Fian fan would say, the ball knows. Driving is McCaffrey. Foul called on Hodson. That's going to be Nathan Hodson's second team's first of the second half. Outland is going to come back in for the Bombardiers for Crowley. Outland, Houle, Shirk, Hodson, and Franco. And for Fian, looks like number one, Jimmy Fazy's checking in along with John McNaka. Left side, can't see the number. Oh, that's Shabbat. Down low, Good that's pass. number 30, who, oops, number 30 is in. Dante Bruschi, as you mentioned. Long ball is no good. Oh, great work by Bruschi to control the offensive rebound. He'll play football at Ithaca next fall. Offensive foul. That was, that was a, might have been a little bit of a makeup call. Bruschi was over the back of Houle on that rebound. And that time, Houle hit the deck. That counts as a turnover for the Shamrock, second of the half, 10th of the game, second team, third team foul of the half. Here comes Connor Houle left to right. Bombardiers by eight as we approach two minutes. Oh. Near steal by Sneed. Left corner, Hudson. Hudson hits the three ball, assist outlet. Nice shot by the senior. Been very good from the corner this year. Nathan, thank you for making me look good. I said in the pregame, occasionally he can be sneaky with a three-pointer. Absolutely. Drive, nice dish by McNaka. Now it's up top. Shabbat takes the long ball off the back rim. Oh, Outland with a defensive rebound, stealing it away from Sneed. Up the left side of the court. Steps, Euro step. Oh! Reverse layup is good for Outland. He's got 19 points, and the Bombardiers lead 50 to 37. And that was... I think Jaden Outland's most impressive hoop of the night. The Euro step yep. with just the right spin on it. Great shot. Wow. After the great rebound, that was a 94-foot journey for Jaden. He Jay. did. He took it the whole way. 50 to 37, Bombardiers. 128 to go in the third quarter. We'll be right back. W.H. Riley is here when it comes to heating your home or business this winter. W.H. Riley & Son always welcomes new customers. They're a family-run business serving the Attleboro area since 1873. They offer heating oil and propane with 24-hour emergency service. For more information, you can contact them at 508-699-4651 or their website, whriley.com. W.H. Riley & Son, 35 Chestnut Street, North Attleboro, a company greater Attleboro residents have called on since 1873. That's a compromise, Zach. Are we, we done telling fans to shut up now? No, we moved our crowd mic so they could talk all they like, as they should at an event like this. Do you have a fun playing out there? Oh, well, well, she didn't hear when it was important, that's right. Bombardiers lead 50 to 37. Fian will inbound to our right, 94 feet away from the hoop they're attempting to score at. Pressed by the Bombardiers. Inbounding is Sneed. Hodson's third foul as he fouls Shabbat. 
Boy, did Bishop Fee and pack their student section tonight. Whole crowd. Attleboro certainly matched it well. But good to see my alma mater traveling yeah. well. And interesting, uh, the entire Fian student body wearing black, yep. the entire Attleboro student body wearing white. Wonder if they coordinated that. Really? Could be. Good guys, bad guys in the old Western days, or racial harmony in That's 2023. Well, in our case tonight, good guys are winning. <laughs> Capua up top. Driving is McNaka. Left corner. Out of our vision. That's Capua. Seven on the shot clock. He's guarded by Shirk. Drives left. Kicks it out. Three ball from the left. Rolls in and then rolls out for Cooper Sneed. Bombardier ball. 48 seconds to go in the quarter. Spencer Shirk brought that rebound down. Good to see him back in the game. You know, this gym floor it looks a little too flat, too level. Spencer Shirk might need to dig into that a little. <laughs> well, Two games ago, Connor Hould did his best intent oh, up the court. Right. Landing on his head, his elbow, and his hip on three different falls. Ten on the shot clock. Franco advances to Hould. Hould drives. Foul line. That travel? Rolling hook shot. No good. Neo oh. Franco. Offensive rebound. Put back. Bombardiers by 15. Here comes Fian with nine seconds to go. Capua has it knocked away, but Adams picks it up. That's nearly stolen. It is stolen. Shirk with Still credit Hudson. for the steal. Ah. Hudson with a long bomb is no good. Two turnovers for Attleboro in the quarter. Three for Fian. But Attleboro puts uh, 18 points on the board in the quarter. They take a 52 to 37 lead, holding Fian to just nine points in the third. We'll be back with fourth quarter action after this on Double ACS 15 Sports. W.H. Riley is here when it comes to heating your home or business this winter. W.H. Riley & Son always welcomes new customers. They're a family-run business serving the Attleboro area since 1873. They offer heating oil and propane with 24-hour emergency service. For more information, you can contact them at 508-699-4651 or their website, whriley.com. W.H. Riley & Son, 35 Chestnut Street, North Attleboro, a company greater Attleboro residents have called on since 1873. Welcome back to the biggest crowd we've seen in this brand new Attleboro High School gym. It holds 1,800. I think there are 1,500 people here. And as you said, Zach, your alma mater, Bishop V, and their fans travel very, very well. You know, at the... Um, Bishop Fian King Phillip football playoff game. A lot of the Fian fans brought white towels with them and were waving those during the game. They left them in the stands oh. at Mansfield after the game. I collected about eight of them <laughs> and we're using them for dish towels at home. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> Wait, a nice little positive spin on that. Yes. Attleboro has the ball first, going left to right. Neo Franco being guarded by McNaka. Oh, drives past him. I didn't see you set that great pick. It might, might have been Jaden Outland up top. Wow. Franco with a hoop. Bombardier's lead 54-37. For Franco, he's up to 12 points in this game. Adams on the right, guarded by Hanrahan. Nice oh hoop down low. A runner by number two, Cooper Sneed. Missed the assist by far. And the assist that time is going to number 33, Rogers Adams. Bailing me out again. Thanks, partner. And there's that set. Four at the foul line, Franco up top. Now they split, backdoor cut by Connor. Rolling in the paint is Outland. Gets it out to Crowley. Hayden Crowley with a three ball from the right Bombardiers by 18. He's not gonna miss that shot. And this is going against Bishop Fian. Offensive foul. I think that's on number 10, Jack Shabbat. That's Shabbat's second. Just the team's fourth here in the second half. Attleboro's only committed two second half fouls. Hayden Crowley's first three of the game for Attleboro, their third as a team, all in the second half here. Crowley now up to seven. Whoops, Franco to Crowley. 
Right side, Hanrahan, the lefty shoots. Why not? Hanrahan hits on the line drive, three-pointer assist, Crowley. Bombardier's ahead by 21 points. Have a night, Blue Bombardier's bombs away. No three-pointers in the first half, three here in the second. Driving nice, baseline play, but the ball won't go in for Shabbat. Nice defensive rebound, Hanrahan. Again, the Bombardier's pushing it. Outlin guarded by McNaka. Franco left side, Connor Hull thinks about the three, but the 6'5 Adams is on him. Down low to Hanrahan, knocked away by McNaka, right back to Connor Hull. Boy, McNaka number four and Adams number 33. They've had a ton of deflections tonight. And I think they each have a block, both on Neo yeah. Franco tonight. McNaka came out of nowhere that time yeah. and disrupted everything for Attleboro. I got McNaka for one block, Adams for two. And when you're getting that many deflections, that means you're moving your feet on defense. Not reaching, moving. Connor Hull is up top. Ten seconds on the shot clock, six on the game clock. Left side, drives baseline. Oh, yeah. Oh, lays it in! Capua was expecting help, didn't get it. 62-39, Bombardiers. Didn't think the freshman could go that far to his left. He certainly can. McNaqua drives in the lane, soft floater. And the Shamrocks are a good team. Can't buy a hoop right now. That rolls off another defensive rebound, Hammerhead. This is very similar to the Shamrocks' uh, loss to St. Mary's. Close game first half, second half, St. Mary's took over. Both teams will head to the Division I playoffs. Attleboro may host a preliminary round game. Fian may go right to the first round. Outland driving in the paint, fakes the pass. Oh, wow. Beautiful block shot by Shabbat. Other way, pass from McNaka to Bruski. Bruski gets it up to Capua. Left side, down low. Assist goes to number four, McNaka the hoop to Cooper Sneed. Sneed's got four this quarter, 15 in the game. Attleboro by 21 with 4.44 to go. And again, here's that trapping defense by Fian. Open was Crowley, misses the three. Franco, put back, won't go. Outland's put back, won't go. Quickly up the court. That is Cooper Sneed missing the three. Outland brings in the rebound. Shamrocks know they need to score in bunches now. Student section to my left is quiet as it's been all night. Outland up top, Attleboro working some clock now. Crowley up top, makes the three, drives into the paint, running layup is in despite the defensive Bruski. 64-41, Bombardiers. Sophomore Hayden Crowley, he had his best game of the year against Bishop Fian. He's up two, nine points now in the game, seven of them in the second half. And two assists in the half. Capio has the ball knocked away, goes right to Bruski. Bruski gets it to the corner, driving aggressively, but the shot doesn't fall, Jack Shabbat. I think that was Outland with another rebound. I think it was Hammerhand that Hammerhand, time. Thank you. Attleboro calls a timeout with 3.33 to go in the game. Attleboro hitting their threes when they matter. None in the first half. Yep. Two in the fourth quarter, two in the second, third quarter. Bombardiers just two fouls this half. They have only committed five fouls all night. And to the point about Adams and Shabbat having so many tip balls because they're moving their feet. When you only have five fouls, 29 minutes into a game, you're moving your feet on defense. Yeah, the Bishop Fiend's making Attleboro earn these baskets, yeah. which they certainly are. Attleboro's just knocking down their shots right now. Not afraid to go tough to the paint. Beverly and Outland with some miraculous finishes at the rim. A couple of big offensive rebounds by Neo Franco. Again, they list Neo as a 6'1 junior captain. He looks at least 6'2 to me when I stand next to him. After I think the he's games. gotten bigger as the yeah. season go gone along. Six points in the first half, six points in the second half. Neo Franco does it all. Four Fian, 15 points for Connor Sneed. Four assists at least, because I've missed a couple. 
Eight points and a steal for Dylan uh, Capua. Two for McNaka, three for McCaffrey. Five, seven for Shabbat with a big offensive rebound, two offensive rebounds and a block. Welsh has an assist tonight, four, six points for Rogers Adams with three blocks and two assists. Franco crosses the timeline. 3.25 to go, 20 on the shot clock. And they're not calling that a kick, so it's not a new shot clock. Went off the foot of James Fazy. I think it might have been the thigh. Thigh, okay. Maybe the rule is above knee, not a kick ball, a live ball. Nice defense there, but they get it into Franco despite uh, the defense down low of Botello. Oh, Franco rolls, follow a jumper, it's good. The Bombardiers lead by 25 points. Did not see that coming. Oh, no, we never do, because he's such an unselfish player. We talk about this all the time, pre-game and post-game. Franco gets everyone else involved. You forget he has this crazy Block. bag. Block shot by Hanrahan. Crowley to Franco. And he can do that! Neo! Hanrahan. No better time than the present. Hanrahan to Crowley to Neo Franco. My apologies, Zach. I talked over you that time. Well, Attleboro might end this game with more threes, but now, excuse me, Bishop Fian might end the game with more threes. Bishop Attleboro now has more dunks. Hanrahan and Franco each with one. Here come the Bombardiers, long pass. And that's just the Bombardiers' third turnover of the half, just their sixth of the night. I think this is the lowest total for turnovers of the night. And there it is, Mark Poole emptying the bench, bringing in Michael Alfonso. And you know this crowd's not going to rest until he gets in the scoring column yes. tonight. Zayim Charles is in as well. Great to see the Attleboro seniors in together. We want to wish the best of luck to Coach Dean O'Connor and the Bishop Fee and Shamrocks in the Division I playoffs as they're going to come out of this game 10 and 10 on the season. But because of their strength of schedule, they might finish in the top 20. Attleboro ranked 23rd in Division I right now. They'll move up. Right corner driving is McCaffrey. Attleboro ranked 23rd, going to have a statement win against 18 Bishop Fian yep. after already beating number 15 Taunton. That's right. An impressive resume Attleboro is putting together. Six turnover for Fian, 14 on the night. And again, the Bombardiers just six turnovers. That's going to be their lowest total of the year. And I curse them. There's the seventh. Steal by McCaffrey. Goes the other way. Draws the foul of Spencer Shirk. Almost runs through the glass. Get up, Mr. McCaffrey. Oh, he's okay. He was just tangled. We'll see if they put that fall. They're going to put it on Michael Alfonso, I believe. He stops to talk to Coach Mark Hool. Nope, number th number three. Oh, Michael Alfonso, yep. His first, just the team's third foul of the half, six of the game. Six fouls, seven turnovers. Coach Hool talking to Michael Alfonso. First foul shot is good by McCaffrey. He's now got four points. Everyone rooting for the team in blue wants to see Alfonso score. Nice touch by McCaffrey on the foul shot. 68-43, Bombardiers, 153 to go. Neo Franco still in with Shirk getting ready to come in number 30. Who's number 30? That's Ladanian Rodriguez, the freshman, ah. recently moved up to the varsity squad. Franco, Alfonso drives, throws up the floater and rolls out. Nice defensive work by McCaffrey, tipping the ball to Dan Fazy, the football player. Driving, down low, steals Aeem Charles. Seventh turnover in the half, 15th of the game. Here Alfonso he goes! Drives. Yes! Oh, look at the crowd! Incredible! I was going to say Michael Alfonso scores. I decided to let the crowd do the job for you. <laughs> they took the words out of our mouth. Long oh. three-point shot, and this might be a four-point play as Brett McCaffrey hits the bomb. Bombardiers now lead 70-46, uh, 59 seconds to play. And McCaffrey with a chance for a four-point play. Good to see Zayim Charles helped him back up after that play. Made sure he was all right. Zayim. Crowd still chanting yes. Michael Alfonso. 
Second, what a moment for the senior. Second foul on Charles, fourth. And a four-point play for McCaffrey. Did he knock down both free throws before? Yeah. He did, yeah, three for three for McCaffrey, nine points in the game. 53 seconds to go, Bombardiers lead 70 to 47. Charles down low, Shirk catches, shoots, three ball, no good. Hodgson tips the offensive rebound to Charles, rolls to oh, the yeah. hole. Charles puts it in, Hodgson the offensive rebound and the helper. Great to see Charles score on senior night. James Facey drives, kicks it out to Patello. Three-pointer falls out. Shirk, Shirk for the rebound. Ripped that rebound away. No one's taking the balls out of Spencer Shirk's hands. 17 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. Hudson dribbling up top, guarded by James Facey. In the paint. Content to let the clock run out, but of course the Shamrocks, they're going to hustle for all 32 minutes. Absolutely. Crowd not content to see them dribble it out. They want to see one more shot up from this senior crew. 6.6x to go, Alfonso inbounds to the freshman Rodriguez, and he's going to let the clock run out. He'll take the Classic turnover. Move. That's Ladinian Rodriguez getting appearance on the varsity court. Might Bob be Attleboro's biggest win of the year, 25 points. They had an 18-point third quarter and a 20-point fourth quarter. For Bishop Fian, a 9-point third quarter, a 10-point fourth quarter, just 19 points in the second half. And the Bobadiers, they will move up in the rankings for number 23 in Division I. Fian may drop down a spot or two from the 18th spot in Division I. I've got Houle for six points and two assists. Alfonso with two. What do you got for Outland? Outland finished with 19 points, did it in three quarters. And he also had one, two, three, five assists, two steals, and an offensive rebound. Neo Franco right behind him with 16 points. He had 10 of those in the second half. And he also had three assists, two steals, and three. Three block shots. Crowley with two points in the first half, but two, four, seven points in the second. So that's uh, nine points overall. Three assists all in the second half for Crowley. Hudson a three ball, an assist, and an offensive rebound all in the second half. What do you got for Hanrahan? Hanrahan had seven points. Along with two block shots, a steal, an assist, and two offensive rebounds. Beverly, you got eight points? Yes. We mentioned Neo Franco and two points for Charles along with a steal. Uh, you give us the points for Bishop Fee and I'll throw in the other figures for those players. All right, Cooper Sneed leading the way in scoring. He had 15 points. And he also had a helper and did very well in rebounds. Dylan Capua had eight points. And one, two, three, four, five assists and a steal. Two offensive rebounds for the 5'8 player. Uh, off the bench, Brett, junior Brett McCaffrey had nine points, six of them in the second half. Wow. Rogers Adams, six points, filled out the stat sheet elsewhere. Yes, absolutely. He had uh, two block shots at least, two assists in the second half, a couple of big offensive rebounds. And Jack Shabbat had seven points, and John Migaka had two points. Yep, and Minaka had a block shot, an offensive rebound. Shabbat had an assist, a block, and two offensive rebounds as well. What a second half for the Bombardiers, Zach. Uh, let's see, uh, 18, 38 points in the second half. They outscored Fian 38 to 19. Wow. That says it all right there. Great game by Attleboro. We'll next be with you during the playoffs, the D1 playoffs. Both teams will advance to the D1 playoffs, and their seeding is going to be very close together. I'm Paul Healy. He, you have anything else to say, Zach? No, I'm excited for the playoff game. Attleboro's been rolling. Hope they keep it up. The uh, girls and boys teams have both qualified for the playoffs, so they will both play uh, between the period of February 27th and March 1st. So we'll have two home playoff games, boys and girls, between the period of February 27th to March 1st. If you enjoyed the broadcast on the AACS YouTube channel, please hit the like button. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Paul Healy, he's Zach Crow, Austin Ricketts on camera, Peter Bray on graphics. 
Jim Jones, our engineer in charge. Have a great night, everybody. Ryan and Sons Family Sports is a three-generation family business that first opened their doors way back in 1949. Ryan and Sons is a local source for sports equipment and high school and professional sports apparel. They sell a variety of local town apparel, school sports hats, and more. Ryan and Sons is located at 15 North Main Street, downtown Attleboro. You're invited to stop by and check out their wide variety of embroidered and screen-printed high school sports apparel.